What's going on everybody? The Dominator, another video. Today we're gonna be doing some mountain fishing. If you guys look up there, that's the dam, this lake. And this right here is the, the outlet. Today we're gonna be targeting cutthroat trout, so we'll see if we can get into any of those beautiful cutties for you guys. And uh, maybe try a different couple techniques like flies on clear bobbers and maybe try some jerk baits i don't know yet there's the lake you guys let's look at this look at this oh my god amazes me every time look how clear this water is beautiful all right see some trout surfacing for some flies so let's get to fishing. Here's the inlet, you guys. There's a trout right there surfacing for flies right now. There's two of them that I see. Three of them, four. Oh my God, they're loaded up in there. Cutties are right in this little pot right here. And I'm gonna use a little tiny fly right here. I don't know what I'm doing. I know nothing about fly fishing, but this looks good, so. And my dad's trying out a uh, baby bobby on a 132nd ounce. But I think these fish are mainly eating towards flies. Dang, that guy's big. And I'm going to just do this weightless with the spinning rod. Hey right, guys, I switched up flies. They didn't like that first one, so... This is like a bee pattern, it almost looks like. I don't know my flies, so if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, let's see if this works. They have no interest in my fly. Here comes one. Got him! Got him! Got him. Knee pattern. You guys see this? First cutty of the day on a B pattern fly. Look at this, you guys. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Look at that. Straight, beautiful. He's skinny, but colored up, beautiful. Let's let him go. There he goes. Right there. Bye bye. Sight fish, these guys. He's right there. Got him. I just had to give it some action, I guess. Pretty nice one. A couple twitches in. What's the trick? Oh, this guy is so pretty. Come here. 
Look at those. Just look at those colors. Everybody. Red under his. Wow. Wow. This guy is beautiful. Pinkish. Beautiful fish out here. Right there. Alright, let's let him go. This is what that guy took. I don't even know what that is, but that's what he took. Got one. I was not paying attention. Got one though. I don't know how I'm gonna land this guy. I just had my fly S sitting out there. This guy came and smoked it. No, he came off. There he goes. There's two of them right there, you guys. I'm gonna try to net one of them. I'm gonna just lay the net down right here. And hopefully he'll swim into it. Oh, yep. I'm right into it. So these are cutthroats because uh, they have the red slashes on the gill plate right there. See those red slashes right there? There it goes. Right there. It's so beautiful. Alright, let's let him go. There it goes. Alright, you guys. This is kind of worn out, but it's gink. You can also use this to uh, help your fly float. So, just gonna add a little on the fly right here and massage it in. Just like so. Instant! Oh, no way! Instant. Yeah. That's weird. Look at this. Right there. Cup bow. I think it's a female. Right here. Beautiful one. Oh. Alright, she's ready. There she goes. Oh! I had one on. There's one. Small one. Dang, this guy's a fighter. Small guy. Come here, buddy. Pretty. Look at those patterns on that fly. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna get a good, quick picture of this guy and uh, we'll set him free. Alright, you guys, that'll be all for this video. I ended up with a handful of cutthroat trout and. Um, on the fly, this guy right here, this little guy with uh, with the Claire Bobber and a swivel. This was killer today. This was the only thing that was working. Although I didn't try no jerk baits or any uh, soft plastics, but I figured if they're hitting on top water flies, I was gonna try it out. So I caught a couple with it, but again, I have no idea what I'm doing with all this fly stuff. So. If you guys could like uh, leave in the comments on any tips or what I did wrong, something to improve my fly fishing skills because all I got is a spinning reel and I do have a fly rod but 
the weight is like seven to eight and it's I think it's way too strong for these little trout. Maybe I'll invest in uh, three to four weight fly rods so we can come back to this lake right here and try to catch some of these cutthroats because they were surfacing like crazy on some of these flies like I couldn't really find out the exact fly that they were eating. This fly that I was using right here, they would swim up to it and they would get like two to three inches close and then they would just turn around. I have no idea why that's happening. Either they just didn't like my presentation or my line or I don't know what, but I had a handful of fish do that and then I had a handful of fish that just fully committed to it. That'll be all for this video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys on the next one.